What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Target Exclusive Legends WWE Ultimate Edition Brett the Hitman Heart figure. Now this figure has been sought out and it, people have had it. People have had it. Well I sure as hell haven't had it until about five days ago. I finally tracked this son of a gun down. I did get two copies so I got my men on card copy. I got my loose copy but it's been nuts around here. So if you guys did not see on the community tab, my wife and two children were involved in a car accident just the other day. Very scary situation, but they are all okay. They are okay. My son broke his arm. He's all casted up. My wife had some bruises and some cuts, lacerations. My eight-month-old was actually completely fine besides a small mark from her car seat on her neck, but I'm just grateful, man. I was super grateful just that they were okay, and that's all that mattered to me. So I have not been super active on the channel at least the last couple days. I couldn't tell you the last time that I went two straight days without uploading a video, but I appreciate all the kind words on that post, and I appreciate all you guys that said some nice things, messaged me, all those things, man. I appreciate you guys so very much, but we're back at it again today, man. We're back to full strength. They haven't skipped a beat. I mean, my son's been jumping off the walls like Spider-Man anyway, so I'm just thankful, man. That's all I can say. I'm super thankful and grateful that they are okay. Praise God. And that's the importance of the blood of Jesus. But here we go today, man. We have a Brett the Hitman Heart Ultimate Edition figure, which I think is going to be better than his last version. I'm really digging this, the all pink attack. You guys know how I feel about the color pink, so this is all good for me here, but you have him here. One thing I've noticed about the these Ultimate Editions is I feel like the figure is never looking straight on. I've noticed that a lot lately, so I don't know exactly what all that's about, but here's Brett the Hitman Heart. You got the pink jacket in there, Ultimate Edition. You got Brett the Hitman Heart over here on the back. You get a figure shot, and then you got a real shot of the guy there. Really wish you would have included the championship, man. On the other side, you got his name, Ultimate Edition logo, and that is pretty much it, man. So with all that being said, let's crack Brett the Hitman Heart out of his Brett the Hitman packaging. So here's the Bret Hart Ultimate Edition figure out of the packaging. I like it a lot, man. You know, I just love Bret Hart's aesthetic. Like, it just is a tires, man. The pink and the black is sick as hell. Having it in Ultimate Edition form, I think it's a it's a good release. You know, it's a solid re-release pretty much of his first go-around. But it is in all pink, and we do have different things going on here. And we are going to compare it to his first edition. But I like this one better, I think I can say right off the cuff. I think the jacket's cooler. I think it stands out better. I just am an overall bigger fan of this one. But why wouldn't I be? I mean, he's dressed head to toe in, in white, pink and black. I mean, what, what do you want? This is right up my alley. I was never the biggest Bret Hart fan of all time, but I, I, I can enjoy a good football figure. Nonetheless, man, we're going to break down the accessories you get with the Bret Hart, and then we're going to take a closer look at the figure itself, and we're going to roll the hell on up out of here. Alright, man, so getting into Bret Hart's accessories, it is an Ultimate Edition, so you guys know we're going to get the entrance jacket gimmick, which would be the interchangeable arms, but we do get some head sculpts, and this is personally my favorite head sculpt, I think. It's like the serious face or the hair not in the face, and I'm pretty sure this is the Elite 94 scan. Off the cuff, I think it is, and it's probably the best Bret Hart head sculptor is definitely up there. I just personally like this one the most. And then you get this one, and I can't remember if this is new or not, but you get the bangs in the face, and then there is the likeness underneath. And, like, this is okay, I guess. I like how it's solemn, but they're basically making the same exact expression. So it's basically the exact same head sculpt, except just different hair pieces, which I guess you can choose your own, you know, Bret Hart head. I just wish it came with more head sculpts. I hate that you only get the two options, and they're virtually the exact same, but, you know, I don't know. I'm not a connoisseur of Bret Hart collectibles. You know, like, I'm not in on the just, you know, I'm not going to heavily critique it as heavy as I would a John Cena, you know, he's not my favorite of all time, so I can't get in there and be like, well, this isn't particularly this way and all that, so I leave that up to you guys. I give my own personal opinion, but I think there's better people out there to, you know, to kind of correct these Bret Hart figures, and Bret Hart's one of those guys that's kind of hard to read, but I can personally say I like the expressions and I like the likeness, I just wish we got, you know, some different things going on there, but you guys can let me know down below. Now, one thing I can say is I know they're still not doing his glasses correctly, you, you have the same same exact shades that we've seen so many times before, but they are flat pink. Or not, I guess not flat pink, but they're just one flat color. They don't have any like sticker decals or anything like that, which I guess is better. But when you put these on here, they look really good, except they don't stay on very well. So these glasses actually kind of like fall out. They didn't there. This is actually, they're actually kind of hugging it now. But what I've noticed is they were pretty loose. So what I would do is take it and kind of pinch it just a little bit. So it would kind of like fold in just a tad. That way when you put it on there, it kind of hugs it better. And that's what I've found but uh, who am I? That's just what I found has helped me, so you guys can let me know down below, but that's, uh, I, don't know, I like it. You know, I think it gets the job done, but we do have sunglasses that still aren't particularly accurate to Bret Hart. And then we also get the sleeve gimmicks, which this is the last version here, and it's pretty much just a repaint. These are pretty much the exact same sculpt. I don't see the zipper as prominent, but it, yeah, it's on there, so exact same uh, chest pieces here. They're just painted differently, and you guys can see the pink version's got a lot more going on with it, but get in there, you guys can 
can see there's the pink version then here's the last version this one looks better to me but this has more of that natural leather jacket feel but you know if you want this on here you come across the figure here and you clamp that on like so and then you'll take your arms here which this is the right arm and you plug it in there we've all we've all seen the ultimate editions we've seen the supreme collection plug those arms in there plug those arms in there and there you go you get your jacket arms which you know the sleeves look good they have a texture to them they're the exact same sculpt as the last version except they have better paint apps obviously so that's cool and then you also get your pink wrist tape arms which are pretty cool they go in there nice which you'll see on the figure in just a moment i don't believe these elbow pads are accurate but what are you gonna do but you get the ricochet Kawhi leonard style hands the handshaking hands you get the always fancy fisted hands and then of course you get the world going around mic holding hands which are always delicate not delicate? Like, what are you saying, bro? All right, guys, so getting into the Bret Hart, I think the head sculpt sits on here nicely. I, I like the way the figure looks again. We've been over the head sculpt. It's the Elite 94, but going down into the torso, one thing I did notice is I'm getting some paint scuffage right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, like, right there, there's, like, some skin tone leaking through or, like, some skin tone that's, like, kind of chipping away. I'm getting some black chipping right here on the singlet. So it's definitely not perfect. I think it's because they molded this in pink, like, this entire upper torso, and then they painted skin tone over it, and then they added the pink line or the black lines over it so that is something i'm noticing on mine which kind of bums me out but i guess you're not gonna know and me and my brother always say nobody bats a thousand so you know what i mean you're not perfect but you know i'm sure other people's figures look better than mine and vice versa i bet some look worse than this so that's just the way of the world but these elbow pads aren't accurate i'm pretty sure i think they're supposed to have like white outlines i do believe and sometimes he had open elbow pads but i don't know when and where and how again i'm not a connoisseur of bret hart but i'm pretty sure that's how the cookie crumbles but he's got the pink wrist tape i like the uh, the black heart graphics you got all this going on you got hitman on the butt kind of a, a really cool font you got the black the pink the white very clean going all the way down not pinless he's got the pink knee pads and then he does have his boots here which i think i ranked like they're top five they're definitely top five all time i think in terms of wrestling boots you know being a sneakerhead and stuff like that i always love the look of guys in their boots and stuff like that but in terms of this figure's articulation you know they do have the drop down hips which i'm not noticing a looseness like i did on the other so that's good but he can kick forward and do all the good things like he has all the articulation you'd like man i mean he's got the butterfly joints and come across here i don't think uh, i don't know that's pretty damn good butterfly joint right there i was gonna say it's probably not as good as the supreme collection from AEW, but it's still pretty damn good man i like it you know elbow pads always prevent if they give him open elbow pads he'd probably have a better time doing the uh, the double jointed arm but the double jointed arms i i was clamoring for that for years from mattel and they finally did it and it really put them over the top man but diaphragms are still not great with ultimate editions uh hopefully they can figure that out one day make those a little bit better but at the same time i uh, i enjoy the figure i like posing them around it feels good in hand i'm not getting any crazy looseness or any wacky stuff like that so that's always good but let's get into our bret hart figure comparison now for your bret hart ultimate edition figure comparisons here is the first version and it didn't have butterfly joints and i didn't like this head sculpt to be honest so i'll probably put this head sculpt on there i think that'll make that look better actually let's go ahead and take a look at that just to see you know just to see what we're working with here i bet it's going to make the figure look a hell of a lot better to be honest with you but putting that on there and then stick it up here uh yeah that looks pretty pretty damn good i like that uh yeah i like i like it i think that works all the good good stuff so also i can't remember what i did with his ultimate edition boots i think i put them on another figure or something but this is just the two ultimate editions then you have the rest of your bret hart figure comparisons and this is the current legends target exclusive ultimate edition you have the first ultimate edition you have the elite 94 you have the survivor series elite and then you have the wcw two-pack elite with the goldberg figure and i'm gonna be honest with you i'm i'm missing quite Quite a bit of Bret Hart's, man. I'm missing the WrestleMania 30 Elite from years ago. I'm missing the Defining Moments Elite. I'm missing the Elite 94 Chase. I'm missing the Elite 43. I mean, I have him and Macho Man, man. I'm behind. Also, Ultimate Warrior. Like, I, again, it goes back to that same damn time. It was like right around the time I started the channel. I sold off like 30 to 40 Elites of guys that I had in the collection. Because I was selling off a lot of my Legends that I didn't really care to collect that much. And I sold off a bunch of pieces and then i used that money that i got to kind of kickstart the channel and the the pick fed and like the the ring and the ring aprons and like the custom stuff from the pick fed and the crowd background like all that different stuff that goes into that i used that those funds to kind of kickstart that so i guess it went to a good cause but damn i missed those figures huh got a lot of holes in the collection now and then for your other ultimate edition bret hart figure review comparisons we do have the fan takeover hbk ultimate edition figure which i love this is one of my favorite ultimates from last year so i really enjoyed this 
figure a lot. Which one do I like more? I think I like the Sean just a little bit more, but I do like the all pink Brett here. And this just kind of goes to show how dumb this torso looks when you compare it up next to this Bret Hart. You're going to tell me these guys aren't pretty much the exact same size on the chest. Like, look at that difference. You're going to tell me, like, look at that difference, bro. And then you have, like, a totally different one for Razor. It's just, it just, they're all over the place. This is, this, this does not fit him whatsoever. But I think I like it better than the super small version they chose. I just think it, they need to figure out a good way to do Sean, a good way. Because, like, look at this difference, bro. And then when you compare it to like a Kurt Angle that's coming in the Ultimate Edition line, this is probably too small for Kurt, but they're virtually the same exact size, so I don't know. Like, seeing this up next to other people, it's just weird, man. It's, def it's definitely, what you can say is it's definitely not straight across the board all the way perfect, and that's what they need to try and adjust. They need to find that happy medium. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our Ultimate Edition Target Exclusive Legends figure review on the WWE Ultimate Edition Brett the Hitman Hart in the all pink, man. I really like the figure a lot. I definitely like it a lot better than his first version. If you guys missed out on that first version, I know it's getting like a re-release in that like greatest hits ultimate edition line. I've actually seen people find that at Walmart. So maybe you can, you might could go to Walmart and find the black version and then turn around and go to your target and find the pink version. I don't think that's completely out of the realm of possibility. So, but if you're down, you know, you're, you're crunching the numbers, you're looking at your budget, you're like, which one of these effing figures do I want to get? I'd go with the pink one. Unless, you know, you want the rarity, you want that first version, that elusive first version version that they decided to redo, I would go with the pink. I like the pink a lot better, and gun to my head, you gotta pick one or I'm blowing the trigger. I'm picking the pink. I'm going with the pink, man, so I enjoy this figure. You know, I like the pink jacket, and again, Bret Hart's not my go-to guy, but I, I, I like this figure a lot, and I think it's a cool addition to our Ultimate Edition collection, and I think they, they did pretty well. Like, of course, the head sculpts are not perfect by any stretch, and I know people like the bangs in the face because, you know, it's like, some people like the bangs in the face, some people don't, but I prefer this Elite 94 version of the head sculpt. I wish it did come with more head sculpts, because it only comes with two. But at the same time, I, I like the figure, and I think if you're a Brett the Hitman Heart guy, or you missed out on a Brett, or you're missing a Brett, this is a good Brett to get. I, I don't have any issues with that. However, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. A huge shout out to our patrons over there. Always appreciate our patron members. If you guys are interested in that, we are giving away an Elite 100 Rey Mysterio this month, and we may add in a figure at the buzzer. We typically do our giveaways right at the end of the month, man, so if you guys are interested in signing up for the MDT Patreon, on. Extreme Division members and higher get in on that. Monthly giveaways, we also do other things over there, so if you guys are interested in that, interested in those perks, definitely click the links in the description below. Pro Wrestling Tees for MDT merch, always support the channel, really appreciate those guys. Anytime somebody buys a t-shirt, it lets me know, so I appreciate you guys so very much. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.